for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Gemini, in the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands. Now, this card can refer to a woman. Now, this woman, she'll have a lot of fire energy about her. She's usually an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Now, if we're not talking about an actual person, the card stands for getting a lot accomplished and focuses on work and career. Now, keep in mind, the queen is a positive, uplifting energy. Now, when she stands for an actual female person, a lady in your life, she's your very good friend. She is also 100% solidly on your side, even though she probably seems a bit self-absorbed. Now, if you are trying to conceive, Around this time, if you're trying to conceive, and this card appears in your reading, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. The Queen of Wands is paired with the Page of Pentacles. Now the Page of Pentacles, it can be a card about boredom in some ways. So you may be tempted to say or do things to shake things or people up just for a little bit of fun, excitement, what you need to do is rethink that impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Excitement, it can be created, okay, but not that way. It's not a good idea to do it that way at this time, at least. Now, the Page of Pentacles, it's a great energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. The Page can give you focus backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessary, necessarily glamorous or fun. And that's in the recent past. Now we move on to the present, the Ace of Wands. Now this indicates new beginnings, usually very, very positive ones. The Wands are in the realm of accomplishment, and they're often related to work or career, but it could go either way. It could be home, family, love, relationships, but usually work and career. So if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are more than likely to be getting better very, very soon. Now this card it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about your future with a very good cause. You're more than likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you very soon will be feeling that way. Now, keep in mind that the aces also tell you that now is a good time to start something new. And this card is paired with the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords, you're more than likely to find yourself with some mixed feelings. It could be about life in general and maybe a few people in particular. As you can see, if you can see the picture, I hope you can, but that's pretty much what it's showing. Um, but you want to make sure not to ignore these things. But don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either, as you could ruin the very thing that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lover. So think several times before you really let someone have it. Think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserved it. You want to make sure to pick your battles at this time. With these two cards paired together, the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, getting things accomplished. Um, if you're having a difficult time now, Things will be turning around for the better very, very soon. And being that it's paired with the Five of Swords, at this time you could be having some mixed feelings about people. Um, but make sure you choose your words carefully. Don't just say whatever comes to the top of your head because you, you probably ruined some close, intimate relationships. And... Um, uh, yeah, you don't want to do that because the Ace of Wands, uh, you're at a good time 
um, with the Ace of Wands. So you want to stay there. You don't want to uh, go around starting fights. You want to make sure you pick your battles. Stay with the Ace of Wands. It's about new beginnings. Try to focus on the new beginnings. Okay, stay away from picking fights and um, just saying whatever comes to your mind. Okay? And that's going to be the present. And then we move on to the challenge. We have the Sun card. Now with the Sun card, you're more than likely to, things with the Sun card, things are more than likely to be going very well. Now, however, even though finances are likely to be in good shape when this card appears in a reading, that doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And just just know that money is not very high on that list. Now this is a good time to socialize, to meet new people, and to get out and about. If you're looking for a new job, this card it can signify that it's right around the corner for you. It's paired with the Tower card, Tom. So the Tower card, um, it pretty much means that you're holding on too tight to the status quo, and that can be a disaster for you. Because you, it's important to always roll with any changes that come up. Roll with the changes. And also it's likely that some people or situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now this doesn't have to be drastic. Because we all know change is the nature of life. So if you try to prevent that if you try to prevent changes, it's likely, or, well, put it this way if you try to prevent changes, it's almost like trying to row upstream without a paddle. Yeah, that's a better way to look at it. <laughs> okay, and also, if you have been building castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Now keep in mind that that's only a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality too. With these two cards paired together, the Sun card, things are going very well for you. Your finances are in great shape when this card appears. But remember, don't lose focus on what's important. Money is not always, or it shouldn't be the, what's always on the top of the list. Uh, everyone knows that health is, is number one, because if you lose that, you really don't have anything. Uh, now, the Sun card says, don't forget, socialize and meet new people. Uh, if you're looking for a new job, um, it's right around the corner for you, but this card is paired with the tower card, which means that uh, you need to roll with any changes. So, some situations are different now. They're not quite the same as they used to be. So, with the sun card, everything's going well, but it looks like you may have some obstacles. You know, because it, just because it's paired with the tower card. Uh, you, with all the great things the Sun card has to, has to bring you that I mentioned, you're going to have some obstacles. Uh, you're going to have to roll with any changes that come up now. And um, it shouldn't be too bad. It's just it, it just won't be easy to get all that's offered to you with the Sun card because it's... it's um, it's just more like getting great things and great opportunities to you, but you just have to, it just won't be as easy as you think, put it that way, with the tower card. And then that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. The star card. Now you're likely to find yourself feeling rather inspired, and you will be feeling rather more hopeful about the future than you have been feeling in quite some time. You'll feel more confident that your needs, whether these are emotional or financial needs, they're both being met. 
Now nothing can, excuse me, nothing can be taken for granted. Keep, keep that in mind. But it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced at this time. This is also a very spiritual, it's a spiritual card, it's a, it's a spiritual time for you. And can, you could find yourself for at least some time feeling at one with all creation. Now, this is not a common feeling, so make sure you embrace it, you acknowledge it, and accept it. The star card is paired with the five of wands. Now, the five of wands, it refers to competition. Now, usually this could be career or work, but it could be family, home, uh, relationships, but more than likely career or work. Um... It sometimes also refers to romantic rivals. Now, don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful too. But you have to try. You need to try to see results. Now, when this card appears, as you can see in the picture, if you, hopefully you can see it, when this um, card appears in a reading, you need to believe in yourself or believing in yourself. Well, the need to believe in yourself is going to be much stronger than ever now. So it's going to be a mental thing. If you believe, then you can achieve. <laughs> That's one of those things. It's all in the head. So make sure to hold your head up high and have faith that you will end up in a place that's right for you. Now you may be thinking of a career change. Just know that you too can be successful if you try. Okay, and then with these two cards paired together, the star card, you're feeling rather inspired, hopeful about the future. Uh, you also could be feeling more um, spiritual at this time. All one, all. Feeling at one with all creation. Now that's, like I said, that's not a common feeling. Feeling, so you need to savor it and embrace it. And it's paired with the five of wands. So it's about competing competition. Possible romantic rivals. Competition at work. Now being that it's paired with the star card... Uh, you'll be feeling inspired about the competition. You feel like you can win. Whatever's coming your way, that's competitive. Uh, it's not bothering you at all. Uh, your, your head is on straight. Your mind is strong with the star card. So the competition is not a thing for you. Uh, you know that you have plenty to offer. And this is a good thing. And once again, that's the outcome. So Gemini... I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. With everyone. With everyone. With everyone. With everyone.